my father said, well, honey, you know, we prayed for you every day. We loved you, we prayed for you every day. I said, yes, Dad, but it wasn't prayer that I needed. I needed you. It's hard to really talk about how cruel and vicious these people were without seeming to exaggerate it. This is truly remarkable that people could be so sadistic to such. We were innocent kids, you know? historically has always involved some suffering and hardship. Uh, it's not something that's easy. And so we know that there will be sacrifice involved and in the work of following Christ and completing his commission, that sacrifice will be an element of that. At the very heart of Christianity, the symbolism that, was, that is there, the metaphor, was that of a father sacrificing his son. And it wasn't incidental to the whole belief. It was at the center of it. Just as I myself had been sacrificed as a child for the sake of the lost. John 3.16 uh, for God so loved the world, he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is a key verse that is used by evangelicals and fundamentalists to build their mission upon. So the notion of a God sacrificing his son by sending him off is fuel to the fire for missionaries who have already sacrificed tremendously. They've given up their homes. They've given up their careers. They've given up the comforts of life in North America to go serve the Lord in Africa. But the, the crowning gem in, the, in their crowns is the fact of their willingness to imitate their God in sending their own sons and daughters off to boarding school. It makes them into heroes. My parents went to Africa to serve God. They chose to become missionaries because they felt like it was part of God's will and that they were doing God's work. And they took their calling very seriously. Part of the calling was that you put your children in boarding school and it was, it was a mandatory act in order for you to have time to be 100% God's servant in building God's church. Our aims and our goals for missionary work was to uh, lead people to Christ, working among unevangelized people, and um, build bodies of believers, of Christians, who would become self-supporting and uh, self-propagating. And we were uh, fairly successful. Doing without 
comforts, you know, and living in intense heat of 105, that type of thing was not difficult. For me, the thing that I always thought about that was the hardest is what happens when it's time for, for the kids to go to school. We had been fully informed uh, as to when they would go to school. Uh, however, there was no question that they would go. We didn't have any choice in that at all, which is true of all the missionaries at the time. The policy, in short, was that from the time the child was school age, in other words, six years old, they would attend the boarding school for the children of missionaries. And initially, when, when we started our work in Guinea, there was one boarding school for French West Africa. 